Hi guys, thank you for tuning into my channel, The Professional PhD. I am Dr. Viola and I have a good amount of experience being a field application scientist. Therefore, I chose to bring you quite a bit of videos in regards to the field application scientist career. So, the field application scientist is a person who would travel around and train clinicians and scientists in regards to a product, process, or platform. More than often, this position is usually fulfilled by PhDs nowadays. However, there are cases where people who have master's degrees but tons of experience, literally, who would be able to fulfill this role as well. So, I'm speaking to you who are looking to get into this role. You are that PhD, you are that person with a ton of experience. Experience and you're just saying, you know what, I am trying to get an interview, I'm in the midst of interview processes, so what should I do? What should I expect? What should I ask? This video is about what you may be asked. This is literally based off of a couple of interviews that I've had on my journey of getting the role. So I want to share a couple of questions with you. Please be advised, I will be reading some of these questions straight off the bat, just so you know it. This video is not gonna be as in, well formal as my other videos where I'm just speaking to you in regards to uh, each different point or topic that I want to translate or tip or advice. This one is literally about me sharing the questions that were asked to me. So maybe you can prepare a little bit more for questions that may be asked of you. With that, Without further ado, let's get into it. So, I have a couple of questions that I wrote down that I had to literally brainstorm and think about what did the interviewers ask me that really stood out. Kind of was a little bit unique to even the field application scientist role. So, the first question was, or is, how did you get started in this particular specialty? So right now, I'm in the radiology specialty uh, field, and I literally got my start. This is not about me. What am I doing? This is about you. I'm just letting you know that this is a question they'll ask you because usually when you get a field application scientist role, you are going to be training clinicians or uh, scientists within a particular specialty or field. And so it's important that you're able to speak on behalf of yourself and literally kind of give them a, a, a summary of when you get started in that specialty or um, how pretty much just know you may be asked this question. The second one is tell me about a time you had to handle a difficult situation or person at work. Now, this is more of your traditional question. I'm sure if you clicked onto many YouTube interview preparation videos, you'll hear that question. This is important because as a field application scientist, you will encounter difficult situations, things that stop working, never work, and you'll have some upset users or difficult situations, um, or just literally just something where it'll cause some type of frustration um and in, in their process or uh, with that product or with that platform and so it's important to know that you can handle a situation well so be prepared for that question all right another question that i had was how would you explain what we do to us no how would you explain to us what we do as a company that was a question that I had. Another one was, what is our mission? That person, you know, the person who asked me that was actually the director on the sales team. And like I told you, if you watch any of my other videos, a lot of times there'll be other people from other departments like sales or research and development or marketing or some executive leadership team or service. And they like to show up at these interviews because the field application scientist role um, holds hands with so many other internal team members. And that's literally to really give them advice, to support them, to train them, to teach them as well. And so this sales director asked me that. What is our mission? She almost called me out there. Well, actually, I think she did catch me out there. I couldn't remember it verbatim, but I was close. 
Another question I was asked is, what is your understanding of the field application scientist role? Be careful with this question. Prepare well for this question. Make sure if you've already had a first or second interview, you use the information that that particular interviewer um, explained to you in regards to the role that you include that verbiage. Very important. You don't wanna go in sounding like a textbook, like you just went to the website or you just read the um, job description. You wanna make it seem like you are, you've done your homework or you've listened to those who've already interviewed you. If it's the first interview, I would say then use the job description, but make it sound natural. Make it sound less like a textbook and more like something that you're willing and ready to contribute to. Another question I was asked is, what experience do you have in writing technical documents? This is important because a lot of times in this role, there's training materials that need to be created or revised or edit it. And so this is, this lets them know that you are a writer, that you are a person who is a good editor as well. And so if you've edited, if you've written, and I'm gonna tell you honestly, if you're a PhD and you have not written, you ain't a PhD. I'm sure that most of you have written technical information, long technical publications, uh, well, let's say they're not technically technical, but protocols, you've written things for others that they had to follow a set of steps or um, uh, give information content to help with understanding the purpose of something. Think, think, you have to have written something. Don't go there not being a game. Another question that I was asked is, what do you like about being a field application scientist? So of course, this is asked if you have previous experience as a field application scientist. Listen, it's a job that entails a lot of different responsibilities. Try to include the various things. Don't stick and weigh in on one side and just say, I like the training, I like the training. There's so much other things that you're gonna be back and forth in between in this role. Cover more than one. I wouldn't say all of them, but cover more than one in regards to what you like about it. Another question that I was asked is, how much did I travel before? And am I willing to travel often? So of course, when I didn't have experience, I was asked, was I willing to travel? Am I okay with all of the travel? I mean, you're interviewing for the role. So I would hope the answer is never no. But of course, the percentage can make a difference. If it's 100% travel, 80% or 50%, that can make a difference. I hope you know before you get to this level, unless it's the first level, then, you know, it's it could be a surprise that, you know, um, maybe they want you to travel 80% and you're not willing to do that. But at least you know, this can be a question and you should be prepared. Another question I had was, what about this role, this role in that company interests me? Interested me, because it's past tense. Okay, it, this was a, a question that literally I got stumped over because I kind of forgot to read like the job description. This was such a rookie mistake. Don't make this mistake by not being prepared to answer. Specifically, what about that role? Not all field application scientist roles are created equal. Remember that, actually, I'll give you more information about this later, but my new title is subject matter expert in a whole another company. Very similar to field application scientist, but it's like the bridge between the medical science days on and the field application scientist. I work in medical affairs. Once again, we're getting sidetracked. This is not about me, but be prepared for this question because you don't want to seem like you have not really considered this role at this company, within this department, within this specialty, with this team, with this everything. 
All right, for the biggie question. The questions that some people like to ask to really weed you out. I was weeded out with a question like this. What is your experience with working with scientists or physicians as key opinion leaders or thought leaders? When I was a rookie and I didn't have experience, this is how I was weeded out. They realized, oh, you don't have experience working with key opinion leaders, the big cream of the crop, scientists and clinicians all around. Okay, so basically you wanna be prepared for that question. Honestly, it's a yes or no. It really is. However, there is some little gray line. I tried to cross it or bring it together. It may or may not work though. You may or may not be successful. If it's really a no, they'll read through the lines. You're never gonna be dishonest about it, but you try to like pull any kind of, you know, really high up collaborations you've had. And this person was a thought leader, leader in my lab and my PI is a thought leader. They're looking for more big time answers, just so you know. Hopefully you have, if not, don't let that question get you down. Always go back to what you're willing to do, what you're willing, what you have done successfully. Don't let that question get you down. And da da da, da 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 da. <laughs> the last question, where do you see yourself in two years, three years, five years, 10 years? I mean, this is a traditional question across all interviews, but it is important for the field application scientist role simply because this role is usually, I don't want to say like a beginner's role for somebody transferring from the bench to industry or into industry, but a lot of times it is, okay? And so they want to know, what are your goals down the line? And they really want to know, do you really see yourself as a field application scientist long-term as well? So if you speak of something as far as management roles as a field application scientist or leadership or something that, stay around that area. I used to go into a whole nother role. I'm not saying it hurt me, but I sometimes wondered if it did. So if this is the role you're applying for, stick with this role. Give good truthful answers in regards to this role and i think that you'll do great i hope you'll do great on one of the roles you get you will do great guarantee that so thank you guys for tuning into this video i hope this video gave you a pretty good amount of questions that will be helpful for you to prepare for your interview um if you have more questions about the questions please leave me a comment below if you're a field application scientist and you've had some other questions please leave me a comment below i would love to make sure that as a community we are sharing information we are giving advice and we are creating a lot of power behind the field application scientist role itself so thank you for tuning in to this video and I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.